Nathania means nine seeds for diversity and the new gift for the commons. Today, it is first and foremost the movement for seed saving and seed sovereignty and seed freedom. And it's not just in India now. It has had to become global because the threat to the seed is now everywhere. Last year, the European Commission tried to bring a law to prohibit local seeds. And Navdanya worked with the European Parliament and the European movements to make sure that that law was sent back. Working this morning, I got up at 5 a.m. to send a response to movements that grew as a result of Navdanya's seed freedom movement uh, in the United States. And they're writing local laws and I had to give feedback for that. In India, Navdanya is also the movement for organic farming and ecological agriculture. And we've helped train more than 600,000 farmers over these many years. But as a result, we've had to build a place where farmers can learn, farmers can uh, study, um, and it's a learning center, and we call it the Earth University. Uh, and that's in Dehradun. So it also become an educational movement of shifting the paradigm from the mechanistic paradigm of industrial agriculture to the ecological paradigm of agroecology. We are a cultural movement. We do festivals, we enjoy doing festivals together. We do an annual festival for the earth, we do dinners, bringing the diversity, letting people know that in the seed lies the taste. In the seed lies the health. And from seed to table, we've made a connection with every little part of this food web. And we have engaged every person. Children doing gardens of hope. Farmers shifting to organic. Middle class women realizing organic is a better way to eat. And I think if, if, if today so many things that did not look possible 20 years ago, if they're possible, it's because of these uh, dedicated contributions of the family that is Nathania. <laughs>